Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we are doing a how many bandanas can I make in a day? I had the idea for this based on passionate Kelsey's like how many scrunchies I can make in a day and then she came out with the how many bandanas can I make in a day? And then I also kind of wanted to just like kind of get some yarn chores done. I have like a ton of ends that I need to weave in that I just like don't want to. <laughs> I have nine bandanas right now that just need like their little ties on them and stuff. So I think I'm going to start doing that and then I'll come back once they're done and I start actually. I have like two that need to actually still be finished out. Oh gosh, there's just little, there's just like thin yarn everywhere. Um, <laughs> but I will come back once these are all done and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, so it is 1047 right now. I have been making my stuff. So I have, I've had this one for a long time, but then I, I finished like this Kobu steely blue on the last row. And uh, so... I don't have colors that would like kind of go with these so I'll just have to go buy n new skeins when I like have the skeins I guess because I'm doing this thing now where I have to use five skeins for every one I want to buy. I have two right now but anyway I have no idea where my darning needle went. I have like this little black tube. Oh here they are actually I'm dumb. I've literally been sitting here for the past like hour and a half being like where'd they go? Where'd they go? Right there. Um, anyway, <laughs> all the ones that just needed the straps on them are done, so orange, rose pink, merlot, this, whatever this pink is, <laughs> coral with this little bit of white, and then the, the watermelon one. So now I have this, this, so those ones are done, but they were like mostly done when I started, so that pile is done, and now the rest of these are going to be like actual ones I guess I made in a day so I have this one that's like red this one that's like kind that's like very barely started and then I just saw this one over here and I just saw this one over here that I'm gonna have to like attach to this one it's literally just teeny teeny tiny so I'm gonna work on those three want to chat while we work on what was I trying to do with that I don't know sometimes I just like find stuff that are in my room and I'm like why did I start that chain why did I just do this thing of single crochet? Hmm. Weird. Been watching stuff on um, YouTube about going to New Orleans today because I'm going there in a week and a half now. I'm so, so, so excited. I haven't been there since high school because uh, for band, we went there my senior year. It was super, super cool. I really, really enjoyed it. And. Um, my best friend and I are going there for St. Patrick's Day and oh it's gonna be so much fun but so I've been trying to kind of figure out things that we can do that don't just involve like a drinking and stuff just like written down like different places to go like I remember some places and like some of the food but you know like obviously Cafe Du Mont is like the big one to go to and we will be going because uh we need beignets. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to Chicago this week for work. And I'm super excited. I love just like traveling for work. Um, this past trade show season though, I really had a tough time with flying. So I'm not sure how that will change for me, I guess. Like I hope that it's better than it was because it just... Oh no, it, it was really painful for like my ears and my stomach, like no matter like how much I ate or what I had, I was just like so ungodly uncomfortable and it was just so, I don't know, and it's so hard because like I do really like flying, I love traveling, I, you know, every little piece about it is like so fun to me, so it just, ugh, it was... I don't know, annoying to say the very least. I'm trying to figure out if I want to bring like my big headphones or not. Cause I don't know if maybe like having my AirPods like super in my ears when I was already having ear troubles, like wasn't helping or something. 
I don't know. Obviously, that's like so much rambling and does any of it <laughs> matter? <laughs> it's, it all just seems so trivial, honestly. But yeah, I'm excited. I really do like flying. I always also get like a ton of reading done for my audiobooks. I did want to get an audiobook done today, but I don't know what it was. Friday and yesterday, like there were so many good like YouTube videos that people were posting and I was like, oh, I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. After like basically a week of what felt like no nothing, like nobody posting anything, or at least like the people that I watch, nobody posting anything. So yeah, I don't know. Just... I also don't feel like intense Sunday scaries today like I normally do, so that's kind of crazy and it feels really good. Uh, normally Sundays are very like difficult for me. Normally I don't get a ton done on Sundays because I just get so in my head about the upcoming week because I just feel, I don't know, I just sometimes feel like it's a wasted day between Saturday and Monday even though I absolutely need to just learn how to relax more and one way I was trying to do that this week was because um, like crocheting didn't feel right like nothing felt good like nothing I could do felt good at all this week so one thing I did do that was nice is I remembered I had my coloring book and like some markers and it's nothing crazy it's just like a coloring book from Target and like the Crayola markers that come in like the 30 pack or something but I've been having so much fun just like kind of sitting down and unwinding and relaxing with that like my brain just like doesn't have to think about anything when I have that and it's super nice really not a lot I don't know I've been wanting to like get some filming done but I've also been so exhausted I don't know what it is it's like when the sun comes out it's like my body finally like relaxes and then it's like let's nap <laughs> it's like nap for like two weeks straight yeah as you can see back here this like pile is mostly just things that need to get their ends woven in. Annoying, to say the least. It's probably one of my least favorite things about myself is that I, like, will finish a bunch of stuff and then just leave the ends and be like, I'll do it later. <laughs> also, my entire life, I've never been able to keep a desk clean. Ever. It always becomes a dumping ground, and then I just have, like, this tiny little spot where, like, maybe I can get a few things done, and it's just, like, so ungodly annoying. But it is what it is. I don't know. I always try and like improve myself and stuff and some stuff sticks and some stuff doesn't. And I think part of the problem is that like when I clean my desk, I want it to just stay clean. But the way that it would stay clean is if I never used it. And that's just not going to happen. I just like I miss in-person markets so much and I did not realize how much I missed them until like I've been working on stuff and I'm like, Oh, but then, I, and like, I know I could be better about showing stuff online, but I just like, I miss going and being able to talk to people and tell them about my work and, you know, just like forming connections and friendships with other artists. And so like, if you see my room, pretty much everything in here that you see is like small artists. And most of them are from Sioux Falls, save for like a couple pieces that I might've gotten off of Etsy. I love local art and like at my old apartment, my one bedroom, I had like an entire gallery wall that was just like so fun for me to have and it it made for like such beautiful photos that I was able to take. And I I miss that apartment every day, but it also like didn't have good heat in the winter time and like basically no AC in the summer. So just like not conducive to a long-term living situation, unfortunately. But you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know, I try not to complain too much. I just like, it is what it is. And I guess like this to me is kind of like, we're friends on FaceTime and I'm just chirping away. <laughs> I don't know, are you do, do you own a, do you own a small business? Do you like doing in-person markets? How do you how do you find in-person markets? Let me know in the comments. 
because I feel like I had such a strong community in Sioux Falls and now like not having one is just kind of difficult. <sighs> but yeah, okay, I think I'm going to watch some more YouTube and get these three done here and then I will I think check back in on what bandanas I will work on next. So, problem. It is definitely not anywhere close to the end of the day and holy hell am I bored. <laughs> I don't know why my brain does this. I like think that it'd be so fun to do these challenges and be like, how much can I make in a day? And then my brain's like, hey, do you want to start making a sweater? Do you want to start coloring? Do you want to maybe read your book? Do literally anything but then your intended goal and purpose for the day? Ugh. It's so hard being me. God, I just feel so dumb. Ugh. It is maybe like, it, it just turned noon. It's maybe been uh, 20, 30 minutes. And I like ate lunch and finished like these two bandanas. So I'm on this one, which is the one that was just like the teeny tiny little triangle. And I'm like, hmm, what color do I want to do after this? Do I want to keep doing this? Oh, no, like, Taylor, you should keep doing this. And I'm like, mm, yes, but no. And I also have this thing where my brain will be like, hey, 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 go do something different. And uh, my physical body won't listen. My physical body will just keep doing this. And it'll be like, oh, you're really hungry. You're so hungry. Get up. You are so hungry. You are going to faint. Get up and go get food. And then at the point where I feel like I'm going to start crying because I'm so in my head spiraling, then do I get up and finally go get food. <laughs> I know that it's so stupid. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know. Like, I'm medicated for my depression. Nothing bad is going to happen to me. But gosh darn, if I don't eat, do I feel like the sky is falling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should like listen to a book or something right now. I, I, I don't know what to do with myself right now. I was feeling so good <laughs> like an hour ago. And now I'm like, mm, now I don't feel so hot. Now I don't know what to do with myself. I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. And I just ate food, so I should be in such a happy mood. Ugh. Maybe after this, I will sew in. Nope, don't want to do that. Nope. As soon as the words left my mouth, I was like, mm, you know what? Never mind. That is not what I want to do. Um, <laughs> gosh. Ugh, this is so annoying. Because I want to be doing this. I do. And like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like it's either I'm hyper fixated on something or I cannot figure out what to do with myself and it is so frustrating because it like permeates so much of my life and like I'm a pretty high functioning individual when it comes to like my anxiety and my depression I don't know if anything else is going on up here so those are the only two things I can go off of is that like I can't concentrate very well sometimes but it's like, I can because I know that I like this. And this brings me, you know, let's say this level of happiness. But sometimes my brain will be like, doing something else could bring you this level of happiness though. And it's like, ooh, I could do this. And then I'll do it for like 20 minutes and then I'll come down, back down to like here. Where I'm like, mm, no, that's okay. I'm okay with this level of happiness right now. I don't think that made any sense at all. But um, yeah, it's just how my brain works. Like, I really want to color, but I know that the minute I will, I'm going to think, hmm, I want to crochet again. And then I'll start crocheting again. I don't know if people in the comments would be like, that sounds so annoying. Like, imagine living it. Imagine living it. Okay, I um, 
took a little bit of a nap because whenever I start getting a bit of a tood, I just need to lay down. Uh, and it did not help. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm just, I think I'm just like all up in my head. I need to like get out of this apartment. I need like socialization. <laughs> But it's okay. I need to pack. I don't want to pack. My bed's now a mess. Why did I turn the camera on? Oh. Yeah, because I realized I want to cast on a sock for my trips. This is uh, Premier Fruits sock yarn in the colorway Grape. And so I was like thinking about it. I was like, oh yeah, I really enjoyed like knitting a sock while I was out doing all my stuff since I'm gonna be like traveling so much here soon. Like I should, I should cast on a sock. And so that's the one I picked out. Okay, sorry, that was dumb. So I guess bye again. <laughs> Hi, so I, I'm finally feeling like a little bit better. I don't know. I was, I had a tood earlier, but like I'm better now. <laughs> um, so currently working on this bandana. It, um, this is an interesting, this was a limited edition yarn from Lion Brand from last summer. This is the My Boo, My Boo yarn. It is 69% viscose, 31% polyester. It's super, super soft. Um, but I didn't really buy enough of any color to really make anything, so I've made